Messages from the Medicine Man Returning to our future Frank describes the Medicine Man. He is the actor who played as the chief in the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. You all knew him as Will Sampson, the actor. His first role was in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, followed by numerous others including Buffalo Bill and the Indians with Paul Newman, Outlaw Josie Wales, Clint Eastwood Orca, White Buffalo, Poltergeist 2. There were many. But no one knew he had been studying medicine for many years. And no one knew, including myself, that following his death in 1987, this great man, my friend, would become my mentor in spirit. When I asked, why? He said, you are living to share this knowledge. And when I persisted and asked, why me? He replied, because you are willing to give up everything. And so, Will would like us to share everything. Wow, I thought, where do we begin? You've been teaching and sharing for 25 years. Today, Will said. We will begin with the future. We have a special meeting place, Will and I. It is an open space in a forest, next to a giant boulder. Grandfather Rock who shares stories from the beginning of time. There is a path I take to get there, which comes up over the hill and into a field of wild flowers. Ahead is a river. As I approach the river, there are three trees on the left. One is ancient, with bark so thick with history and texture it is my entire library of nature's existence. I hug the tree, and press my cheek close to its face, and my ear hears its stories. It reminds me of home. Delighted with our memory, I continue down the path and reach the river. Today, it gently percolates, smiling and bubbling as I step across the stones to the other side, to the clearing at the edge of the forest by Grandfather Rock. Will is already there, sitting on Mother Earth, leaning against the great boulder. This is our living room, our sofa where we have chatted for years. Today, however is different, there is electricity in the air, everything is alive with excitement. Today, there is no conversation. Today is returning to the future. Will stands. I follow him closer to the river. He has prepared a fire pit. After honoring the four directions, he lights the fire, and we sit opposite, connecting through the smoke. As I watch sparks rise skyward, the column of smoke becomes a graceful beam of light, filled with flashes and jewels of moments, dancing in the air as they move toward heaven. Suddenly I realize the animals of the forest have been drawn to the light, the deer, the wolves, the birds, all circle around us. Then I feel the grass swaying, moving to a rhythmic beat. I look around and the leaves on the trees move in harmony, in rhythm with the wind, where the eagles and hawks and the song birds are all soaring with a current, all in time with the same rhythmic beat. I look across the river, and the wild flowers are swaying like a waltz, the great trees, the butterflies, all are feeling the great rhythm like a dancing heartbeat. All of a sudden the river is a flow of waves splashing high in the air, drops of water shimmering like diamonds as they splash about in joyous celebration. And I realize, the entire earth is celebrating. And within a moment the sky is filled with magnificent stars, billions of them smiling upon the earth, and then, ever so gracefully, a massive, triangular ship floats into view with thousands of white ducks floating beneath. It stops before it covers all the stars in the sky, and like a kangaroo opening her pouch, a round ship gently slips from the womb and lands in the field of wild flowers. A door falls open, and many illuminated extraterrestrials emerge, champagne and silver with a beautiful light about each. They step onto the earth like they are wearing ballet slippers, for each footfall is a communication of the dance and quickly they are about interacting with each living being, every flower, every tree, every animal and bird and butterfly, in silent communion they recognize each other and rejoice, and they dance, and as every living thing on Mother Earth is touched by a beautiful space being, it glows, and soon everything is brilliant in light, the water, the fields, the flowers, the trees, the animals, even the air. Then within the smoke and the beam of light ascending to heaven, I saw two sides of a face, one side black, the other side white. And as it floated upward, it became one. Duality was no more. I suddenly felt a touch on my shoulder and looked to see a brilliant, golden face of an egg. The touch was instant volts of profound love, and I received the message, thank you.
for as you love the earth, so it shall be. After a long moment, I looked at Will. He said, Tell all, love the earth, for those pure of heart will return to the future. Chandler and Visionary France Zapita. Website www.notimelikethepresence.com